bring in Mark Kansian, a retired Marine Colonel, senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Colonel, thank you so much for joining us tonight. So we know Russia, Russia has yet again threatened to use its nuclear power, of course, creating fears of this potential World War III. Do you think NATO is taking this latest threat seriously enough? Well, they have. Uh, Russia has been rattling its nuclear saber from the very beginning of the conflict, threatening uh, NATO and trying to keep NATO forces out of Ukraine. Conversely, the uh, United States and NATO have told Russia to keep out of NATO territory. I think they've come, both sides have come to an accommodation. We won't go into Ukraine. They won't strike uh, into NATO, even though we have bases that are supplying um, equipment and logistics to uh, the Ukrainians. I think um, the it, it's unlikely that the Russians will use these these weapons because the, the time to use them would have been during the siege of Kiev when they might have had a decisive battlefield um, uh, advantage from using them. Now they've reduced their uh, war uh, war aims and are focused on the east. I think it's unlikely that they will use it unless we get in the situation where uh, the Russian army maybe collapses, maybe the Ukrainians push into Russia proper, then you could imagine uh, the Russians uh, using nuclear weapons. They do have a doctrine uh, of using nuclear weapons to offset conventional weakness. Well, you know, Colonel, you just mentioned the bases that are providing, you know, weapons and logistics, as you just said, back in 2018. Now, Putin dangled the idea of it using its nuclear weapons against any foreign attack. Is there a scenario where Putin interprets that support Ukraine is receiving as a direct attack? I think at this point that that's unlikely the Russians have their, their hands full. But what they are doing is they're using their missiles and their air power to try to interdict the flow of supplies, of supplies once they get inside Ukraine. And that's a fair military target. I think it's going to be hard to do that just because there's so many uh, different methods of getting uh, equipment there. The road network is pretty uh, extensive, but I think you're going to see continuing attacks on uh, rail junctions and cities and roads as they try to slow up this flow of uh, equipment and supplies. Well, Colonel, our last question for you. You know, Ukrainian President Zelensky is claiming that Russia is bluffing, but we also know the Kremlin is already, you know, being investigated internationally for war crimes. So is it wise to not take these threats seriously? Well, the United States has taken them seriously. You know, we've sent a lot of troops into Eastern Europe. Uh, we've sent air defense units into East, Eastern Europe to uh, reinforce um, uh, our uh, NATO forces there. Many NATO countries have uh, done that also. So if, if the Russians were to try something, I think that we're uh, pretty well prepared. All right. Well, that's certainly uh, something that we do like to hear. Colonel Mark Kansian, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.